So Vincent, how hard is it to sustain with given the festival's nonprofit volunteer driven status? It is very hard. It's very hard all through the year. Our team of over 200 volunteers work extremely hard to put on the festival. Um, but being entirely volunteer based, you know, it, it, it's massive commitment and it, it, you know, there are times that that can uh, be a struggle. Has the, has WIF ever gone to council for direct city involvement? Yeah, we went to, we went to council, uh, went to city council this past Monday looking for support. Uh, the WIF pays a levy, a uh, tax levy on top of our ticket sales back to the city and we asked for consideration to be put on a list where we're not taxed on top of our, our rental agreement with the Capitol Theatre, so to not pay a, a levy on all of our ticket sales, and that was uh, unfortunately denied. Uh, we are disappointed, but you know we will be going back again. What was Council's reasoning for the denial? Uh, the reasoning that was given was that this would create precedence with other you know user groups or rentals uh, of, of the Capitol Theatre or other groups that don't uh, pay this levy. Um, we were very obviously disappointed by that because we really feel, we went to the city when they're really in partnership this year because their mandate of branding the city of bringing life to downtown Windsor and economic impact and having quality of life and really recognizing the diversity of our city, we really feel that is what WIF does very, very much. Our missions are actually very, very much the same and we felt we could each achieve our own mission um, better by actually working together on this. So we're very disappointed by that. And my understanding is WIF actually pays the city Charge the use of the Capitol Theater? Yes, WIFP rents out the Capitol Theater for its services, its building, its facility, and this year our, 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 our costs there represent somewhere between about $25,000 to $30,000. But regardless of that, unprecedented success this year, right? Absolutely. I mean, we hit approximately 17,000 tickets this year. It's been it's been absolutely phenomenal. So a huge, huge success. And it's grown every single year, and I think it's that level of scale of festival and our, the community is so, so clear on how they feel about this and so many more tourists coming to us from out of town, bringing out of town dollars and also continuing to the reputation, building the reputation of our festival and our city. We are the Windsor International Film Festival. I think that's a really important piece. Um, I, th I think it's, it's, it's really something that is essential to, to our, our, our city's success, to its mission, to its branding. And, and uh, I, I hope we, we, you know, we, can, we can work together on continuing that. So what needs to be done to bring with it? To sustain this level of success. Well, I mean, definitely. I mean, we do plan going back to City Council to work with them to see what uh, what can be done to work together on our, our mutual, uh, you know, missions. Um, but I think it's really quite clear in the economic impact of our downtown, in the reputation of our festival, in the scale of our festival. It's very clear. It is only advantages all the way around. And it's so disappointing to hear that. Oh, well, this would create precedent for any any person that would ever want to rent the Capitol Theater, well, we won't have to, you know, hear from them to get, uh, not have them not pay a, a levy on, on their tickets. We just, again, we were disappointed last Monday that we were simply asking for, please don't take part of our ticket sales.